Percy the Small Engine loves working on the Kirk Ronan branch line with Emily and James. However, his favourite job is delivering the mail along the main line. But there were less and less vans for him to deliver, and the stations he usually stopped at weren't on the timetables for him anymore. In fact, most of the Sodor mail vans had now become goods vans on various trains, without any repaint at all. I wonder what's going on, he thought. As the sun rose up for another day, Percy was with his empty mail vans at the depot. While his crew went to look through the van doors to see if any loaders or parcels were left behind, he spotted a large silver lorry nearby the sorting office. Percy had never seen a lorry like him before. Then he saw a figure talking to the lorry. The postmaster? I have heard glaring reports from our customers over the last few months. You're just what we need for the future of Sodor Mail. Poor Percy. Later that day, Percy bumped trucks crossly in the harbour yard. Are you alright, Percy? I just saw something terrible over the sorting office, he moped. What was it? gasped Emily. A lorry. Is that it? Is that it? Yes. What's so bad about the lorry? There's a ton of them. Oh no, this lorry was with the postmaster, and he said to the big lorry that he's just what they need for Sodor Mail. I don't know what's wrong with him. Surely when it's told me that I'm going to be replaced. If it's true, what well, was wrong with him that he didn't tell you? But to be honest, Percy, sometimes we have to let things come to an end as they aren't meant to last forever. But Percy wanted to prove to the postmaster that he could still be qualified for the job. At the sorting office, there were now only two mail vans Percy was pulling. He saw the lorry in the car park as sacks of letters and parcels were being loaded into him. The lorry saw Percy and smiled. Hello there, my name is Hugh, and you must be Percy. Yes, snapped Percy, and I will beat you. Hugh was surprised by Percy's reaction. Soon, all the mail was loaded and Percy puffed away, while Hugh rolled himself slowly out of the car park and onto the main road. I'll show him! I'll show him! I'll show him! He panted. However, while Percy was huffing and puffing along the main line, he saw Hugh heading to one of his former stops. This made Percy even more cross. He was going so fast that he missed a signal and saw Henry with the flying kipper in his path. No one was hurt, but a strong smell of fish hung in the air. He arrived to pick up the letters and parcels from Percy's train. Luckily, the post was safe. But poor Percy felt foolish. Harvey arrived at the breakdown train. And he took Percy and Henry to the works. Later that day, the fat controller and the postmaster came to see the little green tank engine. I'm truly sorry, sir. We all make mistakes, replied the fat controller. But you should have concentrated, Percy, rather than thinking about you. I expect better things from you. Yes, sir, replied Percy. He looked towards the postmaster. Excuse me, sir. Who's that Hugh Lorry character? That, Percy, is our newest lorry for our mail transportation. And considering that we have cut back on the mail train due to economic reasons, I'm very sad to say that we decided to retire the mail train for good. But what were the economic reasons? Well, there's the cost of running you, renting the path for you to take the mail, and maintaining the rolling stock as well. 
We think it is right to retire that and move on to Rhodes. Now that the Rhodes have been improving very well. Percy was very devastated. We'll be doing a last run to say farewell. But you must know, Percy, that all good things must have an end. I know, Postmaster, sighed Percy. Luckily, there was no serious damage done to the two engines, and they went back to work. But Percy was still sad that the mail train was going to be retired. Oh, don't be so down in the dumps, Percy. I know the mail run was very important to you, but you never know. Maybe they mind putting it up again for Christmas. After all, what lorry can't do the whole job on his own at that time? That made Percy smile a bit. Thanks, Emily. Later that night, Percy popped into the station as he saw all the mail vans lined up at the platform being loaded with mail for the final time. Many of the postal workers and station staff stood alongside with the press, flashing their cameras away to get their last glimpse at the post train. The postmaster and the fat controller stood on a box for a speech. It gives me great pleasure that tonight we are all here to celebrate the Sodor Mail Post Train's final journey after many years of great service done by all the engines past and present on this wonderful island and its railway. Percy here has done us a great deal of service with the mail train and we are honored for him to be the engine to pull his last train for us. After tonight, they will be delivered to the Railway Museum in Vickerstown to be put on display as an example of the travelling post office. After their speeches, everyone cheered as the guard blew his whistle and waved his green flag, and Percy puffing slowly out of the mail depot. Whoa! It's been a while since I pulled out the post train, he chuckled. As the morning sun was lighting up the island, Percy's last mail run was done. The vans are now empty, and the postal workers had gone home. But the little green tank engine still felt very sad by the time he had reached the sorting office. Well, I guess this is goodbye. For now replied the vans. The fat controller was waiting to see him. Well, show keep them here in case the shorting office needs him for the emergencies. But some will go to the railway museum at Vickerstown. Oh, sir, said Percy happily. As the day wore on, Percy puffed towards Kelsthorpe Road Station with some trucks. He began to think about all of the years pulling the mail but he is happy that he is still working for the Fat Controller. When he pulled in, he saw Hugh in the parking lot being loaded with sacks of letters and parcels. The two of them gave each other an awkward stare. <laughs> Hello, Hugh. I'm sorry that I snapped at you. 
I was just jealous because you were the mail depot's new way of delivering the mail. It's all right, Percy. I am sorry that Soto Mail had to retire the idea of the mail train. But from what I hear from the postmaster, you did a very good job through the night. And the depot are keeping some vans in case something happens to me. So who knows, maybe you might get to pull a train again. Percy is hoping that day would come. But he is still happy that there are more jobs for him on his branch line. But you never know, do you?